Hi guys, Alistair Taylor down here at Leatherman Golf Academy and today I'm going to be testing the new Callaway Maverick drivers. Right then guys, so 2020 is apparently the year of better aerodynamics in club head design, uh, more club head speed, more ball speed, getting you hitting the ball further than ever from the tee. And Callaway are no different. We've got the new Ranger drivers, the Callaway Maverick. Now we've got three different heads. We've got the standard head, we've got a sub-zero head, and we have got a max version. For me, these three club heads are aimed kind of different markets, maybe different players. Uh, the big talking point I think this year is gonna be the standard head. And when we have a close up look at the head, we can see it's a very, very different looking shape. And certainly when you look at how it sits on the ground, you can see that the, the back edge of the club is much more away from the ground than we see with a lot of the drivers on the marketplace. And the idea for this is much, much less drag. We've still got, in all three drivers, we've still got the jailbreak technology. So giving that little bit more forgiveness on the face. So we've now got Flash Face SS20. So slightly lighter titanium. They're able to kind of make this a little bit more forgiving apparently, maintain a little bit more ball speed on those F center strikes. We've still got the typical adjustability around the hosel with all three. In the standard head, we can see a little bit of weight more towards the back of the club head. So the idea with this is lots of aerodynamics with the standard head, plenty of forgiveness. So hopefully for Callaway, this is gonna be the one that's gonna be the big market leader for them and the one that's really gonna add performance for golfers. So the second driver we're gonna look at is gonna be the Sub-Zero. Now this is continuing a theme with Callaway. This is gonna be aimed more at your kind of higher speed, guy who's looking for ultra low spin. Again, all the usual tech that we saw in the standard head, but we see two different weights. We've got a weight towards the back, but we've also got a weight right up behind the face, really trying to keep that spin down. And certainly when we look at the profile from kind of, as the club sits on the ground, we can see we, we don't have that same aerodynamics with Sub-Zero. Now I think from my perspective, this is interesting as a coach and a fitter, a lot's being made about club head speed, but maybe Callaway are saying with Sub-Zero, these guys have already got plenty of speeds so and not something they're looking for. Now I think that's interesting because I think even the guys on tour that swing it quick are still looking for more distance. So it'll be interesting as I hit the different models, do we see a pickup in speed with standard over the maybe slightly less aerodynamic heads? So the third and final head in the Maverick range for drivers is the Maverick Max. So for me, when you look at kind of how it sits on the ground, quite a similar kind of profile to Sub-Zero that towards the tail end of the club, still fairly low to the ground. Certainly as you look down on it though, a little bit longer front to back. And when you look at the sole of the club, a weight right towards the back and a weight a little bit more in the heel. So maybe that little bit more draw bias, maybe for that guy who tends to shape it a bit more left to right. So for me though, it's all about performance. I think these are, all three of them are really good looking drivers. Um, I don't think necessarily massively different visually to look at on top, different color accents, which you'll either like the orange or you won't. Now, interestingly, if you don't like the orange, I don't know whether this is available everywhere around the world, but certainly America and Europe it is. You can actually get your Maverick driver customized. So you can get the accents on the back, you can get the colorways on the bottom, and the little rings around the jailbreak, you can get those changed color to something that's more personal for you. But I think most guys are gonna be going for the orange. It's gonna be a little bit more expensive to have it customized. But for me, the key story is, I think we're gonna be looking at Max being ultra forgiving, maybe a little bit right to left. We're gonna be looking for Sub-Zero to be ultra low spin. And hopefully the standard version, we're gonna be looking at club head speed pickup. But let's hit some shots with all three. I'll give you feedback on looks and feel. We'll see how they perform and let's see, do we pick up some speed with Maverick? Right guys, we're gonna start off with the Maverick standard. Do I get into the Top Gun, top gun jokes about I feel the need, the need for speed? Maybe I've done. 
Right, so I'm going to hit some shots. We're going to show some numbers on Trackman. Titleist Pro V1X, which is the golf ball I play. Initially, I'm just going to show you kind of ball flight distances. And then I'm going to run through the drivers. And afterwards, I'm going to click on club head speed. Now, I'm going to use the same shaft in all three, which is the Aldea Rogue White 70. Now, I think it's difficult to tell because maybe day to day, particularly with temperature at the moment and me working on my swing, my swing speed changes a little bit day to day, only within a couple of mile an hour. So I'm not necessarily going to judge this over my current driver and what I would expect, but I think I should see more club head speed out of standard than I see out of max and sub-zero with the same shafting. But I'm going to hit some shots as normal, give you guys some feedback. So certainly the standard head behind the golf ball, I really like the look of that. I think it doesn't massively look different, but I've really liked the look of the Callaway drivers. And to be honest, Epic Flash very, very nearly went in my bag. So let's off we go, but I do like the look of the standard head. Let's see how it performs. Okay, so felt very, very good off the club face. That one just drifting out to the right. Okay, so that's me, that's not the driver. But again, wind's a little bit off the left. I've just got to try and ignore that because Trapman is on normalized mode. And I love the feel. You know, I think looks and feel wise, even off those first two shots, I could put this straight in the bag. I think it'll be interesting. 260, 285. Am I seeing more distance than I would normally see? Probably not off that one. But let's just go and see how we perform. Again, felt very solid. Just aimed a bit left there and just hit that straight. 270, 299, so that was good. The thing for me is, I think maybe in more of these review videos, I'll, I will maybe start hitting some deliberate shapes because I don't really go kind of straight with driver. I mean, you guys will know that from watching my videos, but I do generally, when I play, try and shape the ball a little bit more. So let's go for a little drawy one. down the right, not quite turned it. Again, felt fantastic. And 270, 288. So let's aim left and go for a little cutty one, which is probably more how I see driver nowadays. That feels Awesome. That's the shape I was after. 260-280. Okay, so let's have a look at kind of how optimum that was, but not looking at ball speed just at the uh, not looking at club head speed just at the moment, but let's see how optimal Maverick standard is for me. Right then, so interesting. So general strike a little bit toey, and that's definitely me at the moment. So a decent amount of forgiveness there from the club head because we're still seeing 158 ball speed, which is good for me. Everything else very good. Maybe the toe strike keeping the spin up there, but I'd be more than happy with that for one where I'm not absolutely flushing it. And really some very, very good numbers. Right then guys, so that moves me into Sub-Zero, which if I'm being honest, is usually the model in the Callaway drivers that I tend to lean towards, but Again, I've got this set exactly the same. Now, definitely when you put it down behind the golf ball, it doesn't look as deep front to back, uh, sorry, from top to bottom. And you can definitely see that where, with the standard head, they've obviously changed the shape towards the back of the club. Kind of the, the overall shape of the club head is a little bit different, but equally, I still like that from Sub-Zero. So let's hit a couple of, two or three standard, and then again, I'll try and hit a draw and a little cut, much as I would do when I play. So felt good, a little bit 
pushy. So two six five two ninety. So again, not, not massive change there. Now, I'll be honest. I think that felt very very similar to last year's model. Again, love the feel. I think the flash face, I really like the feel of last year. Obviously, it's been enhanced a little bit for this year. So again, 266.284. So one more kind of just swing. Good, like that. Ooh, that'd be tough off those first couple of models for me to pick, really. Okay, so let's go. Definitely found, and just generally speaking, finding the little drawery one a bit tougher for me at the moment. So let's see with Sub-Zero, aim a bit right, see if I can get one working back. Oh, I like that. I do like that. Like I said, Epic Flash Sub-Zero was very, very close to going in my bag last year. Ooh, am I going to have a Callaway driver this year? And you know what? I really, really want to see more club head speed from the standard because I like the idea of the manufacturers making things more aerodynamic. I think pickups with drivers now, if you're fitted, are very, very tough. So let's go down the left, a little fade. That's shaping much. Trying to work back. Again, not bad. Okay, so again, love the look and feel of Sub-Zero. Let's look at the numbers, see how that's stacked up. Right, so again, not my best ball striking day, which is definitely where I feel the modern drivers are an improvement, is that you don't have to flush them nowadays to get some very, very good performance. So we can see there my ball speed just under 160 as an average, which is up on the standard head. Launching a bit lower, which I think is more down to strike. Now, interestingly there, only 2,300 spin, despite hitting it below center on the club face. So really, really kind of giving us what Sub-Zero would expect and very, very close to my optimum numbers. Right, so finally that moves me into Maverick Max. So definitely with the setup of the head, expecting a little bit more draw bias. Now I'll be honest, the first two models I've had the nine degree head down to eight. I've only got a 10 and a half in the Max. So I've got this down to nine and a half. So maybe not an exact fair comparison in how the driver head set, but let's still hit it, kind of give you some feedback. Because I think this will be even though I think the standard Callaway would like to be the most popular, I think in theory this might be the most popular. So behind the golf ball, definitely bigger front to back, you know, noticeably different to look at. So again, I'll hit three kind of standard ones and then try and shape it a little bit. So I think that felt quite a bit different. Maybe a little bit louder, maybe a little bit louder. And I think it's interesting with Maverick how even the drivers, from what I believe, the faces are actually slightly different because with the artificial intelligence, they're able to maximize the face for the club head. And this is something that they're actually doing in the irons this year. So very interested to test the irons. So 250, 266, so okay, decent. Let's go again. So definitely higher, obviously I'd expect that with that little bit of loft. So that one just trying to turn over a little bit. 2672, oh that's good that one. Now I'll be, this is where I always think when I do the review videos, it's interesting for me. Because instantly I wouldn't even consider that just from reading up about the club head. But it is the importance of being fitted. So let's go one more stock one. Uh, 
little bit like the first one with the Max. Didn't quite square the club face up. But again, felt good. Just drifting a bit. So we drop off in performance. Okay, so let's try and hit a drawy one with this. I'm sure a lot of you guys watching will say, maybe the guy that's going for this, why is he trying to shape the ball? I do think if you can shape it, you're able to kind of make the fairway play a little bit bigger. So let's go drawy with Maverick Max. Didn't feel I quite did what I wanted there, but turning over a touch, just aimed a bit too far right. 252, 270. And let's go a little cutty one to finish. Certainly looks and feel wise, this is my least favorite out of the three. But that's just me personally. So down the left, a little cut. No, trying. Maybe the draw bias, making it a little bit harder to hit that shot. But certainly my least favorite there for looks and feel. So again, let's look at numbers for Maverick Max. See how that performs. So again, ball striking, not a million miles off, a little bit toey and very like sub-zero, a little bit low on the face. So, so a drop off in ball speed. Launch angle stayed good, but certainly the strike on the face will have manipulated that a little bit. Certainly this head isn't designed for low spin and combining that with the strike, we're seeing my spin definitely a little bit high with that model. And we can see as a result of maybe a little bit of strike and certainly the design of the head Certainly my optimal numbers, I'm getting further away from that with that model. Right then guys, so for me, certainly on distances, kind of the max, not really my cup of tea, but I, I do think it'd be very, very popular out there. I thought standard head, very good, but maybe Sub-Zero just edging it for me. But let's just look at some numbers and let's see if club head speed changed down to that different aerodynamics. So we look at Maverick Max, we've got an average carry of 255, 272 total and 107.4 club head speed. Maverick Sub-Zero, we've got 269 carry, 296 total and 108.7 club head speed. And Maverick Standard, we've got 268 carry, 291 total and 108.5 club head speed. So 0.2 mile an hour slower than Sub-Zero. Right then guys, so we've looked at the numbers and it's a tough one. I, I really, really want these aerodynamic stories to give me more club head speed because I want to hit the ball further, but I'm just not seeing it. I mean, for me, they're Sub-Zero, the better out of the three models. I think I love the look, I love the feel. I got the most club head speed. Now that's probably just down to me with it being so close but I'm not seeing that pickup. But Maverick, the three models, great drivers, lots of tech in there, look good, feel good. The key is to get along and get fitted. Where do I think the manufacturers are going with club head design? I think we're kind of reaching a lot of the limits. Very interesting with Callaway's story though, with kind of the artificial intelligence. I think if they can start almost tailoring the face to the individual, I think that might be a way going forward of making sure that a particular person's strike gets the most out of that driver. But then how consistent are we with strike? I think it's going to be tough. And I think the challenge to going very personal with that is does the price go up even more, which then becomes that real important thing that if a guy's got the right driver, currently I think you should be getting three or four years and not really seeing a massive performance change. Some guys like to change on a regular basis. Some guys might only give it two years. But I think Maverick's a great option for this year. Three different heads. I think you've got to try and, and trust your fitter. You know, get some good numbers, some launch monitor. Trust your fitter from what your strike is, how you deliver the club, and then your feedback on kind of what you like the look and feel of most. So guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, like and share it. Comment below, I'll get back to as many people as I can. If you've enjoyed today's content and you don't currently subscribe, please consider clicking the button, ring the notification bell, and then you'll find out whenever I drop a new video. Follow me on all my social media platforms, all under Ali Taylor Golf. 
hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.